Hello everyone, this is Kyle from Refinery Pass. I wanted to share a clip from a safety course we created. If you want to take the full course and receive a certificate of completion, you can use the link in the description to find the course on our website. If you like the course but need something a little more custom created for you, send me an email at kyle at refinerypass.com. Hope you enjoy this little sample. Let's talk about safely operating them. And we should start by reviewing the hazards associated with the equipment and look at the procedures you should follow to prevent accidents and injuries when using it. A fully loaded pallet truck that's rolling has a lot of weight, a lot of momentum, and a lot of potential to cause damage. A pallet truck operator, for that reason, is responsible for understanding and adhering to the safety regulations that OSHA has established for the equipment so that none of this happens. While employers are required to provide employees who operate electric or motorized pallet trucks with training on the OSHA standard, there are also some general guidelines to follow. For example, before you start your shift, you need to protect yourself by putting on the appropriate personal protective equipment. At a minimum, you should wear steel-toed work boots with slip-resistant soles. Now, before getting a grip on the tiller, ensure your hands are clean and dry. Moisture, oil, or grease could cause you to lose your grip and lose control of the truck. And always inspect a pallet truck before you use it. Your employer or the equipment manufacturer can provide a checklist that'll help you perform a thorough examination. Ensure that the truck is undamaged, is fully functional, and is safe to operate. If you find any problems, take them out of service immediately and inform your supervisor. Depending on the situation, sometimes you must operate a pallet truck with the forks in front, other times with a fork trailing. As a general rule, you'll lead with the forks when you're inserting the forks into a pallet, positioning a load, or entering a confined space, such as a warehouse aisle or a trailer. But traveling forks first require you to steer the truck with its wheels behind the load. This can be tricky and increases the chances that you'll oversteer and run the truck into things or people. And for that reason, when you're traveling any distance, you should do so with the forks trailing. And be sure to stay out of its path whenever using a pallet jack. The momentum combined with a heavy load can lead to less predictable movements. To stay safe, walk to the side using the arm nearest the truck to hold the tiller. If you're driving a walking rider, have one hand on the control handle and the other hand on the grab bar so you can hang on securely and always keep your arms and legs inside the operator platform to prevent them from being hit or crushed against things you pass. With all that in mind, always watch where you're going and allow plenty of clearance around the truck. Avoid potential hazards such as uneven areas, potholes and accumulations of debris, oil, water, and other substances. In a busy workplace, it's all too easy for a pallet truck to collide with pedestrians or other equipment. So stay alert and always follow established traffic lanes. Don't assume that other people see you. Always give pedestrians and other traffic the right of way. 